Hey, I'm CJ Maurer with The Gist. Welcome back to another one of our strategic HubSpot tutorials, use case breakdowns, whatever you wanna call them. They're great, I hope you think so anyways. Today we're gonna to be talking about Data Agent. So Data Agent is another evolution of HubSpot's continuing innovation on both the AI side and the data management side with Data Hub, formerly known as Operations Hub. And it's really, really exciting. So let's talk about how you can use Data Agent to gather more important data about your, your CRM records, organize it, and eliminate what would be manual data entry. By the way, little shout out to the new theme. I would highly recommend clicking at the name of your account in the top right and switching to the new theme, right? If I switch to the classic theme, it's gonna go here, switch back to the new theme. Trust me, it's mostly the same. You'll get used to it quickly and it's better. Okay, so when you're in the new theme, you go under data management and then data agent right here. And what's great is, first of all, it's gonna give you a little bit of an overview of, of what, what this is and what these tools are. You can click here to learn more. Uh, so uh, the first thing I wanna talk about are smart properties and smart columns. Let's create a smart property. What is a smart property? It is literally a field in your CRM that will create itself and then update based on the prompt that you give it, right? So you can see the example here. I need a property named subscription level. This property should be a drop down select, blah, 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 right? Very cool. Now, before I create one from scratch, look at the updates, or the, excuse me, the, recommend, the recommendations here. So, Agreed next steps. Let's use this template. Property label, agreed next steps, single line text, and you want to fill this property. So any, let's say anyone who is on this list, I'm gonna automatically create and fill this property. You can also enter a prompt, figure out where the data should come from, whether it's regular property data or call transcripts. Just think about how monumental this is, right? So if you and your team, place your calls through HubSpot and or uh, use a, uh, you know, a meeting uh, AI tool like your Gong, Avoma, Fathom, Fireflies, right? Where it just automatically records and transcribes your meetings. It integrates with HubSpot and it drops the AI summaries in there. We're moving toward a direction now where you, you and your team can just go about your business every day, making your calls, having your, your meetings, and the CRM will cherry pick things from those meetings that are relevant and automatically update records for you, automatically notify you, create tasks, alert you when something important happens or you need to follow up with, and even go as far as to help you draft outreach for like emails and things to, to follow up. It is truly, truly incredible. So now you can create these smart properties, which as you can see are literally just like any property in your CRM except it just updates automatically. It's smart, it's a good name for it. Smart columns, right? Smart columns are similar to properties, except they just show up as columns in the table view of a, I'll actually join the, the Data Studio Beta here, enroll the entire account, boom. By the way, that's how easy it is to enroll in a beta. If you learn more about smart actions, you have these, or sorry, not smart actions. We want smart columns. So you can uh, learn more about what smart columns are. Now we're opted into Data Studio, which is excellent. So a smart column is no different than a smart property. It shows up as a column inside a, a table view in you know, your, your contact view, your company view, your deal view, whatever. But you can also have it pull from external data sources. So if I wanna watch the intro video here, let's speed it up. Do, 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 do. You're in Data Studio. Start with your contacts. You pull from external data sources. And then, so if you wanna pull in a column from a, a different software program or a Google Sheet or something like that, you can easily do that. And now there it is. Look how cool that is. Look how absolutely cool that is. And HubSpot can further be a single source of truth for your business. Just incredible. The other thing you can do is smart actions. Discover new ways to set up your workflows 
and incorporate custom actions for data agents. So now what happens is if you go to workflows, instead of creating a workflow from scratch, create it from a template. Now you've always been able to do that, right? But now you have all of these cool options that are supported by AI and using Data Hub. Stop tracking intense signals after 90 days, create an assigned task. Like this is just absolutely incredible. The, the other thing that I just wanna come back to is the smart properties. I mean, this SOC 2, for example, has the company undergone a formal SOC 2 audit or received a valid SOC 2 attestation, right? For some businesses, that's really relevant. That decides if this company is a, prospect, a qualified fit or not, right? And because HubSpot acquired Clearbit and now has all of this data enrichment, and now you can enrich all of your records automatically, right? Now it's as simple as creating this property, having it update automatically and having your team get notified when that changes, if that's relevant to you. So this is just an incredible tool. And the larger point that I wanna make just to wrap up this video is goes back to what I've always said is that your CRM can and should be a true instrument for growth. It should not be a just a repository for information. Everybody's familiar with the old phrase garbage in garbage out, right? But it truly should help you grow. Too many companies have a one sided relationship with their with their CRM, which means they spend a lot of time inputting data. And then they can look at some reports and whatever, but it's not really making their lives substantially easier or better or their roles more effective. Now, there's no reason you can't expect your CRM to do that for you. It will be significantly better at doing that for you if your data is clean. So that means bringing in all of your data sources, starting let's say with your existing clients and prospects, organizing that through objects and properties and lists and whatever, and then building the right systems to ensure that data entry is clean and sound. A lot of traditional, you know, CRM practice here, like you gotta fill out these properties when you're creating a company record or a deal record, right? We've got videos on that. So if your structured data, your properties is clean, and then you bring in unstructured data, such as your activities are just automatically being, you know, tracked and recorded in HubSpot, there's literally nothing that you can't do. I mean, not nothing, but you get what I'm saying. And this this really paves the way. So I'm so, so encouraged uh, by the, the emphasis of data on this, because I know AI is the you know shiny new tool that everyone's excited about, and trust me, we are too. It's enabled when the data is clean. So Data Agent is a fantastic tool to help make sure your data is clean and sustainable, and then you can do all sorts of good things to help your business grow. That's Data Agent. Uh, once again, I'm CJ with The Gist. If you found this uh, useful, please like and subscribe so you can get more of these videos. And also it helps more people like you find our videos who really, really need guidance uh, when it comes to using HubSpot in the best way. Also, don't forget the Spotlight. It is our weekly newsletter subscription. Every Monday at 10 a.m., we email you a brand new uh, HubSpot use case and teach you how you can use HubSpot better to streamline your growth. Thanks for listening. See you soon.